Hello and welcome to the Week 1 NFL Podcast. I'm Big Italy 42 of DailyFantasyCafe.com. I'm here talking about FantasyHub.com. And as you can see here, great contest the first week. Isaac Bruce, the legend himself, weekly fantasy football league. This is in designed to help him earn some money for his charity. As you can see, if you want to hear about his charity, the Isaac Bruce Foundation, click here about the cause. A lot of great information about it, its purpose, some information if you'd like to donate some money. And another great thing here is if you'd like to donate to the cause, you can get some great new things here. Signed throwback jerseys, signed game balls, things of that nature. But better yet, you can join this contest for free. First prize this week, a great, a signed game ball by Isaac Bruce here. If you win this competition, and it's free to get into. So if you want to join, just click the Join Link button here. Lots of information to help you get started there. And if you just want to donate, click right below here. Donate these certain amounts of money. Select what your perk is, and get yourself some cool memorabilia from one of the one of the best of all time there as well. So definitely a fun contest there. Make sure you check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight a couple picks here that I highlighted in the article. Some players I think I'm going to be having in my most of my lives. I think that you need to be having as well. Starting off here with Aaron Rodgers. He's $7,500 this week on Fantasy Hub facing off against the Chicago Bears. I think the worst defense in all of football. If they're not, then they're very, very close. This is a team that Aaron Rodgers absolutely shredded last season. 40 for 55, 617 yards, 10 touchdowns, zero interceptions last season. This is the top offense in all of football from last year, 30.4 points per game. Obviously missing Jordy Nelson for this game and for the rest of the season as well with that unfortunate injury. But a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers doesn't get slowed down by things like that. Obviously, he's got some other guys waiting in the wings. Of course, Randall Cobb. Dealing with an injury, but looks like he's going to be good to go for week one. Devontae Evan, Evan Adams. <laughs> Devontae Adams. Lots of other great options for him in that offense. Of course, Eddie Lacy, another guy that's highlighted here in this article. A big part of that offense. But they're, they're favored by six and a half points in this game. And this is a game that the Packers should win handily and put up a ton of points in the process. So one of the highest team totals of the week, according to Vegas. Aaron Rodgers is the most expensive quarterback, but not by much. And I do think he gives you the highest floor as well as some big-time upside. So I don't mind paying $7,500 because the gap, as you can see here, from Rodgers to, say, a guy like Phillip Rivers, only $1,300. I think you can easily make that up elsewhere. And just go ahead and lock in the top quarterback option of the week. Over here, running back, some guys I'm highlighting. I like Eddie Lacy. Not a huge fan of pairing a running back with a quarterback here. But like I said, if you're not playing Aaron Rodgers, go ahead and get Eddie Lacy. I think dollar for dollar. One of the top overall options of the week, $6,700 here, and listed as tied for the third most expensive, but in the top five there. So he's a guy that should have a huge role in this one, especially if Green Bay gets out to a big lead. They'll just be running the ball, trying to ice this one. And Eddie Lacy, all-purpose back, nine straight regular season games to end last year with at least 100 total yards. The guy can do it all, so you got to love him here as another option. Uh, moving over to wide receiver. Most expensive option, but I think also the best option, Julio Jones. This game has a 55-point total here, and Julio Jones at 8,300 was the third most targeted receiver last season, despite only playing 15 of the 16 games. He also averaged the second-highest average yards per game behind only one player, and that is Demarius Thomas. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not Demarius Thomas, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, Demarius Thomas led him in targets, but this is a guy that gets a ton of volume. He's the number one option in this offense, and it's not particularly close. Matt Ryan in this shootout, high total, by far the biggest of the week. You expect this one to be exciting. And what better way to pay for up up for a wide receiver than to have him on your roster Monday night and watch yourself just shoot up the leaderboard as Julio Jones puts up a big game against an Eagles secondary that was very, very vulnerable last season. So uh, moving over here to tight end. Most weeks, as you know, Rob Gronkowski, especially with Tom Brady now not suspended, going to be your top option. However, he is in the Thursday night game this week. So if you want to play Rob Gronkowski, you've got to get yourself some Thursday action. And uh, But for me, if you're looking at Sunday, my top option is going to be Greg Olson. Obviously, this is a Jacksonville defense that isn't nearly as bad as some people think, but they were 22nd in the league against tight ends last season. And another unfortunate injury for Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers is missing Kelvin Benjamin, their top receiver for the season. So Greg Olson, already over 1,000 yards last season receiving. Got to be the focal point of this offense now. And I'm excited to play him in DFS contests this weekend. Should see a ton of volume, and he's a great target for you, paying $4,700 if you're paying up. 
Now I'm going to highlight yourself for you a couple value plays at each position. So I'll start off here at tight end, and that's going to start off with Tyler Eifert. Absolute men's salary against Oakland. Oakland, not a terrible defense, but they're not much above average either. Tyler Eifert is an elite talent. He's 6'6", 250, really tough cover, missed nearly the entire season, played in just one game last season. This is a guy that's a tough cover for anyone. Certainly one of my favorite value plays, my favorite minimum salary play at any position on Fantasy Hub this week. So if you need a little bit of salary, there's your $1,700 in salary between he and Greg Olson. If you wanted to pay for a mid-tier up there and Rodgers, there it is. Go ahead and slot Tyler Eifert in as one of your value plays. I'll go ahead and highlight a couple more guys I like as far as wide receivers and running backs. Running backs, my cheap play that I like this week is going to be Tevin Coleman, another guy from that Philadelphia-Atlanta game with that huge total. Been listed as a starter. Devontae Freeman still questionable. Maybe he doesn't go at all. Even if he does play, I like Tevin Coleman quite a bit. This is a guy that had over 2,000 yards last year at Indiana and against some good defenses as well. Obviously, he's a rookie making his first debut, but $4,200. It's not a bad Philly defense in this one necessarily, but certainly one that you can exploit. And you're not taking on much, much risk here at $4,200. So I think that he makes for a great play for you there. And then now I'm going to show you how to take some of these players and insert them into our lineup optimizer at dailyfantasycafe.com. So if, as you can see up here, dailyfantasycafe.com slash tools. Easy to get to here. Go on dailyfantasycafe.com. Tools, lineup optimizer, go ahead and check NFL, check Fantasy Hub. And now I'm going to show you how to lock some of these players in and optimize. So you can make here, what you do is you type in your first player. I'm going to go with Julio Jones first. I think that Julio Jones is one player that's going to be in almost all of my lineups this week. It's a great play. Go down, go down here, you click this lock button. If you click the X, it will exclude him, and this player will not be optimizing any of your lineups. So you go ahead and lock him in, as you see right here. Lock one, that means I've got one player locked in my lineup. I'm going to go ahead and get Aaron Rodgers in here next as my favorite quarterback, of course, and favorite for many people as well. But I'm going to go ahead and get him in here, click the lock button again. Now you see two players locked. And then my last one, since I did pay up at the other two positions, I'm going to go ahead and try to save myself some money with the tight end that I did mention, Tyler Eifert, at just absolute minimum, $3,000 here. Go ahead and lock him in. And I'm going to show you a couple other features here as well. You could do this right here. This is an interesting thing, the lock flex position. If you know you want running backs, you know you want wide receivers, or you want to pile up on tight ends to kind of differentiate yourself from the field, you could do that at any of these buttons here. I'm not going to do that. I like to have some diversity across my lineups, but if you're going with running back, heavy lineup, maybe some cheap guys, you could go with some wide receivers, whatever you want to do there, you can do that. This is a key one here, exclude defenses facing offensive players. So obviously I haven't locked in a defense yet. It's possible that if you optimize – one of these other defenses could be a value, could be a great upside play. And what you don't want to be doing is playing your defense against your offensive players. That's a, that's a huge no-no in the uh, DFS world. So obviously you don't want to do that. Cash and GPP. If you click cash games, it's going to give you safer bets. Guys like Julio Jones and Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers and Julio Jones, both those guys, the rare exceptions that are good for both formats. But if you want more high upside guys that take on more risk, you can go ahead and select GPP there. You can also upload your own projections here. If you have your own projections, that's a great tool to have here. Another great one here is individual player exposure. If you hover over the little eye on any of these things, actually, it tells you exactly what they'll do here. And this one right here is great. If you're going to make many lineups, as you see over here, number of lineups, one, five, all the way up to 100. If you're going to make 100 lineups, great thing to do. Go in here. You decide you want to have a lot of Julio Jones. You want him in every one of your lineups. Or maybe you like Tyler Eifert as a value. You want to do that. Go down here to the exposure, and you type in. If you want Tyler Eifer on 10% of your lineups, you go ahead and type him 10% right there, and then any of these other players as well. And if you want to go specifically back to the players you have locked, you click here on lock. That'll bring up all of the players that you have locked, the ones that are going to be in all of your lineups, and then you can see each of them there. Check your exposure, add more, take away some. Maybe you think you have too much of one quarterback. You want to spread it out because – the worst thing you can do if you're making 100 lineups, play more than one player, even one player on every single one, because you do want to get some diversity there and give yourself a chance to uh, have have a lot of upside. And if that one player struggles, definitely going to be difficult for you there. And then another thing you do here is filters. Click here. Obviously, I have the Thursday games excluded. I'm talking primarily about the main slate, Sunday through Monday. But if there's a particular offense you don't like or you're playing the opposite defense, 
Obviously, the optimizer will help you by excluding those players instantly. But if there's an entire offense you don't like, you don't want to have to deal with the optimizer putting them in, even if they're cheap. You click on the individual team or you click on the time, it'll take all the ones out from that time. So maybe you're found an early only contest somewhere or a late only contest. You can exclude those games. Also great tools here where it shows you the over-unders, team totals, great things there. And uh, filter by the slate Thursday, Sunday after four, just the Sunday and Monday. You can filter by team total where you say, I only want teams that are going to be projected to score at least 23 points, whatever it may be, whatever you're trying to have there. You can do that. Filter by salary as well. Maybe you paid for a lot of expensive players and you don't want to absolutely punt anyone. You want a bunch of mid-range players to fill in there. So you can type that in there as well. Another great tool. And then after all that, all you got to do here, click here, generate lineups. I'll go ahead and set this one to five. So you can see five lineups. And then you, uh, oh, I messed this one up because I have some players with zero exposure. See, that's where you go and you make sure that you're locked players. You don't have any of them on zero exposure because then if you have zero exposure on one of these players, then what you can't do is uh, let's play them in any lineup. So there's no point in locking these guys and then having that happen. So make sure you check all those things. Get yourself some exposure with all of these guys there. Generate the lineups there that will tell you right here. What you do, go down here, say you want to have Aaron Rodgers on 50%. So you go here, 50% for Aaron Rodgers. Julio Jones, I'm going to go with 50% as well. Tyler Eifert on 10. And so if you go based off that, say you go 10 lineups, so you get an even number there. You'll have Aaron Rodgers on 5, Julio on 5, Tyler Eifert on 1. Click your generate lineups here. It's going to generate however many lineups you want it to have. You can save these lineups as well. It'll give you a projected total of points, projections for each player, Fill out all of your other options there. Gives us the value, the projections at dailyfantasycafe.com. Projected points. It'll tell you their matchups. All those things you like. So maybe you're scrolling through one of these and you see, you know, different options that you like more. This one's got Andrew Luck and it's got Amir Abdullah. He's cheap, but he's got upside in a GPP. And he's paying up for big-time wide receivers. So you got Calvin Johnson, A.J. Green, and Des Bryant in that one. So that one obviously doesn't have Julio Jones. Take your pick. It'll definitely diversify your lineups, give yourself better options at where you want to look. Scroll through all these, find the ones you like. Maybe get some ideas of some guys you didn't realize were priced a certain way. You can slap those guys into your lineup as well. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what you're looking for for week one and moving forward. If you've got any questions, I'm at Big Italy 42 We are at DFCafe, DailyFantasyCafe.com. And good luck in week one.